Yeah, we have. We're gonna watch oh, it right the, now. The sneakiest thief. Do the sneakiest thief. Last one, I promise. Last one. This, I'm not shaking my head. Dude, this guy is awesome. I'm, I'm not, this guy is I'm awesome. Not, I'm not. I'm this not, is what I actually wanted to that. say. This man might be the. Oh god. Is Isn't it? Fun? My third world. I'm not shaking my head. Mm -hmm. I'm, yeah, he's shaking not, his ass, I'm not, Brian. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, getting break, he this breaking man like me, might be honest. the sneakiest thief in America, and just as the greats before him, he seized a perfect opportunity to pull his most heinous heist. Yeah, this. <laughs> I love this guy. The Stripper Bowl is a popular annual fundraiser for women who love to bust it open. However, at this year's event, the ladies there to rip off their clothes ended up feeling ripped off. With hopes of taking home their split of one million dollars, the girls ended up making a mere 700 apiece. I sat down with some of the victims to get their side of the story. What's the contract you signed? The contract that I signed. I like how his cut gets big every single time. The money will be divided evenly between all the girls at the end of the night. I read it for myself and it was pretty. Hello? What? Yeah. I said I like how his cut is getting bigger every single episode. <laughs> He's just getting an overcoat. Some yeah. said the contract wasn't even contractual. It wasn't even considered a contract. It just listed the rules that you had to follow. It's just a paper that I put my name on. And for those who didn't follow the rules, there were extreme consequences. They had a whole gun, like, you know, like an AKA, you know, like big guns, like those you know, big guns that's like big. They had one of those and it got to the point because they took forever, like they didn't want to pay us our money. So the girls getting rowdy, we like, where our money at? Did anyone get shot? No, but you had the guy like, over there to the side practicing, like just in case he had to shoot somebody. It's a shame that someone should have to get killed just because killed over some money over. the game is oh my god but what game will it be oh wait game you go to oklahoma state right happens. here's to you the winner whichever game is April? on new amsterdam yeah. vodka is there do you go to oklahoma state yeah 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 i think they're playing kansas state today right oh yeah fuck oh, it up yeah look at it you guys are gonna lose All wait right. do we do we each go huh what do you say? Am I Arkansas State? No, you're University of Arkansas. Where's 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 Arkansas State at? I don't know. I didn't even know there was one. That's why. Okay. It okay. depends on the like, the. I think it depends on the state because like California okay, so is University. This of is the biggest college in Arkansas. Whenever you think of Arkansas, you think of University of Arkansas. Yeah. For gay, if, if Oklahoma, it's Oklahoma State, and then for you, it's Kansas State. Yeah. Where you go to? The, where's the big three, bro? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we go to the big colleges in our place. It's cool. High five. Anyway, let's listen, go back to this world's best journalist. Fear, confusion, and one million dollars in cash. The that elements were all there, and the thief made his move. Y'all don't laugh at me, dog. Bitch, there was too much money in there. <laughs> Why well, I had to do what the fuck I had to do? Bitch, there was too much money in there. Oh my God. Introducing oh my God. the real life Danny Ocean, Gary Salsby. Well, my name is Gary Salsby. A lot of people called me Lil Monk. When you first walked Lil in, what was, what was it like? like? It was like, it was nice. It was like a big tent, big old tent. It was nice. It was real nice. And in this tent, Gary Salsby kept a keen eye. I was just looking down and just saw a lot of money. And I was saying to myself, well, I like, I already spent 200 getting in, $40 for parking. I threw a couple ones. I was just thinking maybe I'll just, you know, pick me some of my money back up. What if someone said, hey, I was just taking back the money that I gave? They had a section for that. It was called the way in the back with the broke nigga section. <laughs> oh Haters came God. out in droves, but oh, yeah. even <laughs> could only speculate how this mastermind had pulled it off. How'd you do it? I was like this. And I was just listening to music. And I was just scraping it up with my feet. Like this. But damn. Then I look around. And I grab it and I put it in my pan. And I, <laughs> and I listen to music again. Dude, he, dude that's smart as shit. I'm, just I'm, I'm digging it. I was listening. And I heard him pick it up. And I stuff it. And 
Uh, and I sit back down, play it off, make sure no one watching me. Mm -hmm. That's it. You ever stuffed your pants before? Uh, no, nah, that was my first time stuffing my pants. As genius as the heist was, it didn't was save smart. him from critics. You a bitch. You stealing from girls that got kids, girls that's homeless, like. There's nothing to excuse that. He's a bum ass nigga and he need his ass beat, honestly. I'm just being me. Honestly. Right. Yeah. What is that? Being just being you. Being me is like, there's no one in the world that I'm gonna go and see all that type of money somewhere and not try to get me none. That's just <laughs> me, period. That's in your DNA. That's in my DNA. That's in my, that's in my bloodline. Even oh, celebrities <laughs> weighed in with their thoughts. And I saw a video of a nigga like talking about, yeah, I had to get my money, you know what I'm saying? My nigga, if you have to fucking make money, go to the corner, my nigga, and sell your dick. Go sell your fucking dick, my nigga. Or sell your fucking stink ass, hairy ass booty hole. Were the rumors true? This <laughs> booty no, hole. Hell no, this booty hole clean. This booty hole get washed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Every day, sometimes two times a day. Mm -hmm. yeah, sometimes two. Clean. So why do you think she said that? <laughs> ain't no telling. Ain't no telling. Yeah, ain't no telling. Ain't no telling. Man, this guy, I love his coat, man. I love his coat. I just, I just like how you said Marshall. It's just humongous no for no reason. But failure yeah, well, was never an option. What would have happened if you got caught? I don't know. I don't know. I probably would have tried Jail, to Jail, 20 years. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure if I would have seen him, I would have told security, I was like, you need to take that money, or I would have been taking the money out of his hand. But it's also he put like. It in his pants. Yeah, I wouldn't did that. Because if they tried to <laughs> get the money, it was in your pants. Yeah, it's in my pants. I don't think I would have let him go in my pants. Why not? Because I would have felt this my money. True. <laughs> <Except> <laughs> this is my money now. Thing. But it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't my money, but it was my money because I. Because it was in your pants. <laughs> yeah, it was in my pants. It was my, I won't let him go in my pants. Even with pants um, full of money, look at Gary this. Salisbury wanted more. You got the money. He's in your so pants. fucking. <laughs> you sit back down. Yeah, I sit back down. Then what are you thinking? I'm thinking, should I take some more money? But my pants is already like, it's, it's puffed up. Did so. people think you just had a boner? I don't know. What is a boner? <laughs> a boner is like whenever you're in a strip club? Yeah. Because yeah, there's strippers walking around, right? Yeah, there's a lot of strippers. So whenever there's strippers, and then if you really like one of them, it just goes up. No, nah, no. Nah. They won't think I had a boner. No. Even with no boner, boner? transporting boner large was? amounts of cash isn't for the faint of heart. So you started walking to your car. Yeah. I was acting like I was on my phone. I had to squeeze my ass cheeks <laughs> together to walk up out of there. Mm -hmm. uh, I had my ass cheeks squeezed like this. And, and I was like, hello? Yeah, where y'all at? <laughs> yeah, shit I'm on my way. Y'all outside? Okay. I just had my ass cheek tight like that, like I was on the phone. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love it. With expert tactic, Gary Salsby was able to flee the scene successfully. <laughs> How much was it? <laughs> Almost two hundred dollars. Wasn't no money at all. What did you choose to spend it on? Wait, two hundred dollars. Yeah, it was ones, Brian. He paid. He paid. He said almost two hundred. He paid two hundred to get in, forty for parking, and three of a couple of ones. So the guy made a loss. Yeah, but he's technically he made a he made a you know he's in the green. No, he made a loss though. He he only paid fifty dollars to be in that place. Wait, everyone else paid 240 I guess so, yeah. So he, he made uh, some money. Up. I put it in my son, piggy bank. Okay, no, see, that is dumb, though. Like, why did he just put the 240 in the, your your son's piggy bank? Because, like, he put this money that he stole in his son's piggy bank. You get what I'm saying? So I got some dirty ass booty money now. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Modern day Robin Hood, Salisbury's charitable donation was sure to change the mind of his haters. But what would you say if you knew that he donated that money to his son? I don't care. I got two sons. <laughs> I don't care. You're giving your son all this money. How do you want him to spend it? He's a baby. There's nothing he can do what do with it. You know, besides that, he's a baby. When he grows up, what do you want your son to do with that money? When he asks for new clothes or shoes, let him know, son, you got, you know, you got ones in there that I got from the stripper bowl. Use it wisely. Like that. <laughs> Because of Gary Salsby, people will reap the benefits of the stripper bowl for generations to come. When people look back at the stripper bowl, I was gonna say, what will they say? They're they're mad over like two hundred dollars. Stripper bowl was nice. Will you go back? 
if they organize it, yeah. Like I said, the party, it was lit. Cause it was lit. It was lit. <laughs> I had a ball. It, it was, it was lit. Going for it. Uh, so so happy. Cool next year. If it's more organized, I will. Cause at the end of the day, like, it was lit. The stripper ball money, was buddy. lit. But how lit? She got some booty cheese out. <laughs> okay, we done. Yeah. Well, so spring break game. <laughs> spring break, spring, spring ball. break. Yeah. Where's it at? What about it? Florida, Miami. We go to this. We go to this convention here. I get ourselves a, a couple of ones, as the guy says. Bro, bro, hold on. You know, we 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 put it in our pocket, you know. Yep. Yeah. Hold on. So yeah. Hold on, bro. I got you. I got you, bro. Hold on.